Okay, so today I'm going to teach you a little dance. It's about a minute 30 seconds long. On SoundCloud, you can Google the song. It is Hoops by Snap Sandal. So, yeah, let's just begin. So, there is an intro to the song. As soon as she starts singing, that is when you're going to start. So, I'll give you a little, I'll show you how it starts. where you can do your own stuff, you can strut, you can do whatever you like. So then you're going to start now. Okay, so how the dance starts is you're going to pick up your right leg and you're going to drop like that, come up, come up. So in quick it goes, da, 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 da. So drop, one, two, bang. Yeah? So da, 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 da. Then I'm going to go that way so I can show you the arms, but you're going to want to lean forward and then your arms, so if I go this way, you're going to go like that, but to the front. So you're going to go one, then bring it round, go two, bring it round. Yeah? So drop one, two, up, step. One, bring it round, two, bring it round. Let's try that a little bit. Today, how quick it goes. So it's very very quick so it's so one two three and up one two yeah i hope that's all right um you can always rewind it if you're stuck so then you're going to want to go one two then you're going to step behind to the side and then drop step step and your arms are going to go one, two, three, to the side. One, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. Then she says, my hoops. So you're gonna wanna full change. Bring your arm all the way around and then drop. Yeah? Okay, let's give it a go. Five, six, seven, eight. So next words, you're gonna step here. It says, I'm not even stressing about what I'm gonna be wearing. So you're gonna go round to here, step out with your right leg and go round like that, your arms and your head. And then you're going to go one, two, up, drop, hip, hip. So go over that again. You go one, two, three, four, step, step up, round, drop. Wait for us to start singing again. Go round, step out, go round, one, two, up, drop, hip, hip. Let's try that a little bit. Right, and 
twice tonight. Go round. Head. Hip, hip. So. Hip, hip. So then you're going to go. So this says, don't even care. I've got my hoops. You're going to go round on yourself and just shake your hands. Like you don't care. Then you're going to go one, two. So going over. We'll go from here. So one, two, three, four, step, step, round, drop, turn around, head, one, two, up, down, hip, hip. Don't even care. So round, round. Behind side, drop again, and then you're gonna to wanna to go strut, strut, back, 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 and then it goes. Oh, the song. What's the song like? <laughs> the end of that so strut 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 down up hip and that is the end so we'll do that a couple of times through and then that will be it then we do look at the song it's a very good song Very good. If you are stuck, just rewind and you can all start again. Okay, we'll do that once more, but I'll proper get the music out. And we can have a right little pie.
enjoyed that little class. I'm sorry if it is a bit short, but I think that's a fair amount because otherwise it'd be too long and too hard to remember. So I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you have the best rest of your week and stay safe. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do um, some bruising on the skin um, and I'm also going to show you um, a small cut as well. So the first thing you need to do is to prepare the area that you're working on. Um, so just take some cotton wool. That hand's really veiny. Um, <laughs> don't really laugh. Um, and some IPA. So this is 99% alcohol. And then you're just going to cleanse over the area that you're going to be working on um, to remove any oil on the skin, any dirt and debris, just so that your, your special effects makeup sticks to the skin. Okay? So that's our preparation. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do a bruise first. So this is the Cryolone Bruise Wheel um, that we're going to be using today. So when you think of a bruise, um, it bruises are all in. It, excuse me, bruises are in all different stages. So we have a really kind of fresh bruise that's deep purple blacks. We also have um, your lighter bruises, which are um, kind of nearly healed. So they're your more kind of pale, uh, beigey green colours. So I'm going to show you um, a centre part of the bruise that will be quite fresh and purple and dark and black. And then I'm going to also show you the skin starting to heal around the edges and the bruise starting to heal around the edges with some paler shades as well okay so what i've done is just to can uh, my products onto a palette um, just to ensure there's no cr cross contamination okay so we've made sure that the skin's prepped and we're going to go for some bruising um, around this area of the hand Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my purple. I'm using the pad of my finger um, because the heat of my finger will help the product move more on the skin and make it look more realistic. And this is a really quick and easy way to create a bruise. So if you were on set and the character um, had been in a fight or had been injured in any way, this is how you would... Um, apply a bruise quickly. Okay, so as you can see here, that we've already got that kind of purplish, reddish tinge as if the skin has been bruised. Okay, so that's kind of the area we want to go for as if they've managed to bang that in some way. And then I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to go in with those lighter shades on an area um, nearer the bone where the skin started to heal a little bit and I'm going to take another finger and I'm going to start patting that into the skin. So this is where the bruise has just started to heal around the edge and as you can see the heat of my finger is enabling this product to spread further when you do see um, natural bruising um, it's never completely perfect so some areas have started to heal quicker than others um, due to the blood supply around that area or how harsh the impact was on that area okay Okay. 
and we're going to go in with our lightest shade again just around the initial area of impact where the skin has started to heal most So right on that bone is where we want the most impact. And then a little tip just to kind of finish it off you want to take a really really fine brush and go in with that deepest navy um, just in the center or wherever the most impact is so looking at this bruise here our biggest impact is just there and we just want to do a little bit of dotting where the biggest impact is okay and then we're just going to pat that in to make it look more realistic. Okay, it's all about building the product as well. So you don't want to go too harsh too quickly less is more and you can always add to less you can't take away from more okay so as you can see here you can see the bruise And see the impact of the bruise so that's how you do a really quick bruise at home hi my name is Sam today I'm going to be demonstrating how I curl my hair with straighteners I've already done this side and the back here so I'm going to be demonstrating with this foam bit so start off by getting a strand of hair from the bottom, pull it down and hot cross from your section. And so now, so you're going to get your section like this and you're going to get your hair straightened and just straighten the top bit and get your hair, twist it and twist like that. Pull down slowly like so. and just push, pull that all back up like that and hold for like 20 seconds and then just let go like that I'm going to show you like one more strand just take your hair for a while a small strand Get your strand, straighten the top, twist, twist, pull down, and twist back up. Hold for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And just keep your hand twist around. Just look like this. Hair. straighten the top twist twist pull down and twist back up if you get hairs like this just re-twist them around your hair and hold for 20 seconds so this is my finished look so just get whatever hairspray you use and I'm using bedhead by Tyva and just spray your ends so this is it this is my curled look with straighteners Okay. Hi everyone, hope you're well. I'm starting today's look with applying the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation the shade Panna Cotta with a Morphe M439 brush and I'm tapping and pressing the product into the skin to create a full coverage look. Then I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Whipped Cream creating an upside down triangle under my eyes and diffusing the edges of the product with the applicator so that it blends easier into the skin. Then I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose in the centre of the forehead. Then I'm going to blend this out with a damp beauty blender and I'm pressing and tapping the product. Then I'm rolling the edges of the sponge on the edges of the concealer so that there's no harsh lines and blending it into that foundation blending down the bridge of the nose and in the centre of the forehead where we applied all the concealer. Then I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Loose Powder in the shade Sugar Cookie and tapping off the excess into the cap and pressing and melting the powder into the skin with a damp sponge. Then I'm going down the sides of my smile lines to prevent creasing. Then I'm going to go in with cream contour and I'm using the Revolution F12 foundation stick. I'm going on my cheekbones, on my forehead and down the sides of my nose. Then I'm tapping in the edges with a damp beauty blender and blending out the edges of the cream contour. Then I'm tapping off the excess of that loose powder that we applied with a brush. Then I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix and NW20 setting the rest of my face of the areas that we didn't apply the other powder. Then I'm going in with the Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer in Beige and Gout and applying this where we applied the cream contour to set this in place on the temples and on the cheekbones. Then for eyes, we're going in with the P. Louise Base in the shade 2 with a Morphe M224 and taking me, myself and Mitchell Palette with Beauty Bay and taking the shade Miracle and tapping it into that outer corner until we build up our desired pigment then taking the shade Morgan tapping between Morgan and Miracle to create that blend then taking the shade Suck from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jewel Breaker Palette then taking the shade Cute from the Jewel Breaker Palette we're blending out that Miracle shade with light circular motions then taking the shade Miles Higher to blend out that shade Morgan and then blending it in to the shade Cute so it all blends together the shade Morgan as it gets lost in the blending process then we're going to tap between Morgan and Miracle until we get the perfect blend then taking the shade Wow from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette and blending out that suck shade 
Then taking the P. Louise paint in the shade Blank Canvas and cutting the crease. Then taking the shade Virgin from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jewel Breaker Palette to set the upper half of the cut crease so that there's no creasing. Then taking the shade Cherry Wet from the Jewel Breaker Palette and pressing this along the lash line to create a liner effect. Then taking the Maybelline Gel Liner and creating a small liner against the lash line and then tapping the shade Motto right on top of it to blend that liner out. Then reinforcing the bubblegum shade to create that gradient. Then taking the shade Muffin from the Mitchell palette in the inner corner and on the brow bone. Then reinforcing all the shades that we applied on the top, on the bottom. I'm taking Q onto the temples. Then taking the HMB Cosmetics Feeling Peachy Blush on the cheek. Then taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Sarcophagus Highlighter onto my cheekbones and blending this into the skin. Then taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mannequin Liquid Lipstick. And this is the finished look. Thanks for watching.